Hello learners and welcome to this 8 weeks online faculty development training program. This learning session is based on Bloom's taxonomy. After watching this video, you will be able to describe the domains of a learning, the domains specified by Bloom's, categorize the domains of the learning, use particular action verbs in your teaching practices, frame the questions at a hot level and specify gaps in a curriculum or learning. Before we begin, let's acknowledge the creator of Bloom's taxonomy, Dr. Benjamin Bloom, and later on, the taxonomy revised by his fellow, Anderson. Now, here a question posed, why teachers should use Bloom's taxonomy? Bloom's taxonomy helps teacher to develop critical thinking skills and higher order cognitive abilities in their students. The best education one was students challenge. If you compare the instructions given in the human anatomy class of a pharmacy students and medical students, one can get the purpose of using Bloom's taxonomy. It helps to provide a framework or organization for classifying classroom lesson objectives. Teachers can build their lessons through Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's has explained three main domains of learning. First, cognitive domain that is knowledge base and requires thinking. Second, psychomotor domain that mainly requires manual or physical skills. And last, affective domain that relates to the emotions, more we can say attitude base. Bloom's has also stated that learning is not possible only in one domain, but it is a combination of all three domains. Means one cannot say that learning is only happening in a cognitive or affective domains. All three domains are equally essential for better learning. Out of the three domains of learning, let's discuss cognitive domain, but remember that while framing for the learning outcomes, they must be woven through all three domains and should not be focused on only one. Cognitive domain is subdivided into six subdomains and Bloom's has categorized them into low order of thinking and high order of thinking. The lower order of thinking is remember, understand and apply. As in traditional teaching methods, we are more focusing on only these levels. And hence, lack in developing the skill in the students. On other hand, higher order thinking domains in a cognitive domain are analyze, evaluate and create, commonly known as HOTS. And this is the most critical thinking level. To reach at HOTS, one must go through lots, means you do not understand without remembering and likewise you cannot create without developing. Here is a question for you. Why teachers have to use Bloom's taxonomy verbs in their teaching learning processes? Stop the video for a moment and write down your answers. Oh, you wrote the answers. Very good. Just tally it. Bloom's taxonomy helps teacher to develop critical thinking skills and higher order cognitive abilities in their students. It also helps to assess the performance based assessments possible with this. Let's discuss cognitive domains one by one. The first subdomain in a cognitive category is remembering. Learning up to this domain means simply developing ability to recall or recognize data or information. The various action verbs used to frame the learning objectives are given here. 
like define, duplicate, state, arrange, etc. To understand the remember level, the example is here. Remembering the shape, size and color of a lemon and nothing to do with its taste, content and so on. Another lower order thinking domain is understand. Develop ability to understand and grasp the meaning of information. The action verbs used are classify, describe, identify, locate, report, explain, discuss, infer, paraphrase, etc. For example, explain the test contents that is vitamin C in a parts of a lemon and why is it sore in a test? So that requires more knowledge than only the remembering. Develop ability to use learn information in a new situation is apply level. Action verbs are given here execute, implement, solve, use, demonstrate, apply, choose, etc. For example, use lemon where vitamin C requires. In analyze level, one requires higher and critical thinking than just required for previous subdomains. The ability to break down the material in its parts so that its organizational structure gets understood. Action verbs are relate, contrast, distinguish, experiment, examine, break down and etc. We can have an example like identify parts of a lemon as a pill, core, seeds, etc. Tally them with other citrus fruits like orange and lemon sweet. The ability to judge value of a parts or importance of a materials is comes in evaluate level. The various action verbs used are appraise, argue, define, select, support, critic, judge and compare etc. The example is compare the levels of vitamin C from the various lemon and decide out of this which is the best. The last and most critical level of a thinking is a create. The ability to put parts together to develop or to create a new thing. The example is develop healthy and tasty juice of lemon and various action verbs helps to create a more thinking inside the students are design, assemble, construct, formulate, develop, etc. In this way, if our learning outcomes are built at a higher order levels, then students' performance will definitely be increased. The another learning domain is a psychomotor domain. It is divided in a five subdomains. First is imitate, means the ability to observe and pattern your behavior after someone else. At this level, you simply copy someone else or replicate action of others. Second is manipulate, means the ability to perform certain actions by memory or following instructions. At this level, you are able to do task after written or verbal commands. Third level is a precision. In this level, there is a development of the ability to perform certain actions with some expertise without help. Fourth level is articulation, means developing ability to adapt and integrate multiple action to develop one method or system to meet novel requirements. At this level, your skills are so well developed. The last level is a naturalization, means the ability to perform actions in an automatic or unconscious way. At this level, your performance is awesome with little or no efforts. You don't require much more thinking about it. It's flawless. The emotional domain of learning is affective domain. There is a receiving to pay attention and being aware 
of existing ideas or concepts or rules as it goes on increasing like after receiving there is a responding then valuing then organization and lastly characterization where you act consistently in accordance with the values you have internalized so all are requested to develop learning objectives for your teaching plan regularly and questions at higher order thinking levels that will brighten our students thank you very much hope you have enjoyed learning in this session thank you